Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to keep your chicken safe from predators. Let's go. I'm Becky. I used to live in the consumer rat race just like you. But one day, I had enough, so I sold it all, moved to the country, and built my own log cabin with my own two hands. Now, I spend my time discovering new ways to live a simple, healthy lifestyle with more free time and way less stress, then sharing what I've learned with you. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. Something that everybody thinks about when they get chickens is how am I going to protect them? You know, I'm spending the time and the money to get them and I'm really excited about it, but I'm afraid something's going to eat them. First, we'll talk about things that eat those chickens. It's going to be a raccoon, a possum, dogs, neighborhood dogs, a fox, a big owl. It has to be a big owl. A little owl won't bother them, but they have big owls. This is my hen house. Of course, you don't have to have one as big as me. I have plenty of room, so I just wanted to build a big one. <laughs> These are pretty easy to build, and I did make plans to show you how to build one that's eight by eight. It's a little smaller than this, and I made it, so it's so easy to build. A beginner can build it. So I recommend that you take a look at that if you're considering building a hen house, which I say is number one, so you should. I like to be able to come in the hen house and stand up and all that, but I talk about that in the plans. For now, I just want to explain that the hen house and then there's a run that they can come outside, get fresh air. Like I said, I like to keep the water in the run in case it spills and it's messy, whatnot. And then in the hen house, I like to keep the nesting boxes, the sleeping perch, and then the continuous feeder of food. And the whole thing together is the coop. Make sure your hen house is big enough to accommodate your chickens if you have to lock them in there. And if you're contemplating getting chickens, that is step one, building your hen house. Build it good, build it sturdy, you know, build it predator proof. And then you can add on from there. Your run can be various sizes. Some people like to open up the hen house and let them free range during the day. You have options, but there's no options on the hen house. You have to have a good one. People see my coop and say, oh, it has an open top. Don't copy me because I'm very experienced with chickens. And I also have farm dogs that sleep outside 24 seven that protect my coop. So that's why. And unless you are willing to have your dogs stay out 24 seven and train them, you have to encourage them to kind of be hunters to protect your property, your boundary. And it, that takes a little time and a little know-how to do that. But once you get a good farm dog, and even this size weighs five pounds, you're almost useless, but you're not. <laughs> this size, believe it or not, she will run in the woods and like chase off a raccoon or a possum or something. And she's, she'll be the first ones to go into the woods. And then these guys follow her up. <laughs> Mario's not, he's hiding. He doesn't want to be in the video. But, um, you know, you don't have to have like a, a, you know, like a pit bull or a Rottweiler. You don't have to have some big bad dog to be a good farm dog. One predator that the dogs cannot protect the chickens from is an owl. An owl will come down at night and get them and there's nothing the dogs can do about it. A big owl. So make sure that your hens are in the hen house at night. They need a roof at night. And that is a mistake I make with my ducks is I don't, I let them run free because they're so adorable and just so happy. But um, that is a mistake because the owl will get the ducks or the chickens if they're not under a roof. Another option you might consider if you don't have dogs or you don't want dogs is electric fence around your chicken coop. You can run the strands every six inches and that makes it predator proof. You know, you could do two or three like that. And it's not to keep your chickens in, it's to keep the predators out. And if they come sniffing around, they'll get zapped and that should send them running. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Sign up for Becky's Homestead Newsletter. 
Go to beckyshomestead.com and sign up on the right. You'll get articles, news, and specials from Becky every month. Unsubscribe anytime, no spam. If you like this video, click the like button. It really does help us a lot. And if you want to be notified every time we post a new video, click the subscribe button. Are you going to do some shopping on Amazon? Start by going through our link to get there. You don't pay one penny more, but we get a small percentage. The Amazon link is on the top right of Becky's Homestead.com. Thanks so much.